When a giant meteor is coming crashing for Earth and all you have is a magical growing sword and a father who turned himself into a frog and you're the only hope of defending the entire city, don't let anyone tell you that size doesn't matter. It's very important in this very particular circumstance. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Cut and Run, the brand new game from the November Humble Monthly Bundle. It was It's one of those like humble original games that they tag on at the end there and, and they're just like, yeah, here's a little demo of a thing, why, why not give it a try? It's a game where you chop things to bits and the more things you chop, the larger your sword gets, so it's kind of like that Katamari game where you're like a rolling ball and you collect items and grow bigger and stuff. I don't know the name because I've never actually played it, I've just seen it. But I'm down for a game where the entire world is destructible and it made me think of Fishy a little bit. Which I'm pretty sure if I went back and did the math, I spent 100% of my childhood playing Fishy. Somewhere in that ballpark at least. I don't know, probably a pretty short game. I have to chop things to bits, but I also have to jog away from things. So, you know, it's, it's a slice and jog, I'm pretty sure is the point of the game. Breaking news, this just in, a meteor has been spotted heading for New Cut City within five business days. Citizens are encouraged to stay inside and hope for the best. <laughs> Great strategy, also a hell of a hairdo, I'm a big fan of that. Hello? That was, was that celebratory? Was that shock or like, <laughs> Closet frog, closet frog scientist portal. I'm down, I'm on board instantly. Well, don't act so surprised. I wasn't, I'm pretty on board with it. Also, I have like no knees. Just the straightest legs you've ever seen. Ah, uh, don't look at me like that dude, you're waking me out. It's me, your dad? Yes, before you ask, I did accidentally turn myself into a frog. An experiment with my latest invention went awry, but I digress. <laughs> Let's not commit any more time to discussing such irrelevant details. Did you see the news? Seriously, whatever you do, don't try and stop the meteor. I'm sure it'll just tire itself out and go on home. <laughs> this is our chance to stop the meteor. I've been working on an invention. A sword that grows with every slice. We could use it to stop the meteor and save the city. Maybe even get rich and famous along the way. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's try it out. Yeah, give me the, give me the choppy sword. I'm on board. So the sword isn't very big right now. I mean, it's a pretty regular sized sword, quite broad. It's it's quite large, I would say, on a scale of currently existing swords within the universe. We'll need to find some small things to cut. So this is where it felt like fishy, is you have to start small and you can start chopping bigger things when you get bigger. Your apartment is a mess. Why don't we clean it up? Can't I chop someone else's apartment? Maybe your laboratory or something? I don't want to chop my stuff. I'll meet you downstairs when you're done. You're just gonna leave me to chop, hey? Am I gonna be timed or anything, or do I just get to do whatever the hell I want? Come on, you're telling me I, I can't chop? <laughs> Did I just chop the mug? I guess there's a limit to how many times you can chop the mug. I can chop, like, the TV up a bunch and stuff. You can keep chopping it, even, but you, you don't grow anymore beyond that. Chop, 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 chop. I get all the, the bread and stuff at the counter, all those little bitty things. Maybe the plant? Come on, how am I- there, now I finally, finally was able to get to the chair. It's really hard to judge what things you've, you've like, upgraded yourself up to with each individual chop. I'm, I think I may be slowing down a little. Ooh, nice, I got gems! I'm, 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 I'm okay with getting a little bit of cash along the way. Hopefully we can go to the market and do a little bit of spending, go on a shopping spree. Go on a shopping spree with my papa. That seems like that would be a fun way to spend our evening. Nice, now the sword is getting right to where you want it to be. This is a nice, excellent size sword. I wonder if I literally had to chop everything else in the house before I could chop the door, if I had to get it to like max size. <laughs> this is getting very unwieldy. It's a little difficult to move around with. You might not have thought through the fact that eventually, Dad, I was gonna have to, like, I was gonna have to carry this thing around, you know? There's a lot of limitations going on there. But you did tell me great job, and all I've ever wanted is you know, that validation from my father. So even if he is a frog currently, and you know, a little, a proven dumbass because of that, I still appreciate his, his 
pride within me. Ah, what a beautiful day outside. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and not a person in sight. Everyone must have evacuated when they heard the meteor was coming. Mm, damn, people would have been an awful effective quick way to get my sword up in size. I, I guess I'll find methods other than murder. I like the roof of the piano store here. Why don't we try going to the shops? How about you cut a hundred things in three minutes? It can be anything you want. Let loose. Is... Is that a donut shop? I love donuts. That was a really weird little aside there. Is that because of Donut County that came out like not too long ago? Was that like a little bit of a little bit of a nod to that game? Although that game wasn't about growing so much as it was just destroying everything. Damn. I just wasted a lot of time cutting things outside and apparently I'm not ready for it. In we go to all the teeny tiny little things. For now, I can just get all the little benches, the, the, the donut boxes. Those will be nice, good ways to grow my, my sword dong as much as possible. How come, how come the size, the girth I had added to it didn't carry on from, from outside to now, or from inside, from the house to now? Because I had, I had put a lot of effort into this. Are you kidding me? That was all the size I managed to get from inside the shop? That was worthless. Hopefully, hopefully piano shop goes a little bit better. I thought I was supposed to do all of my growing in just that one tiny little shop there. Apparently, I gotta go hit them all up. I can't even get the music stands? Alright, get like the violins at least. Nothing. God, it's so difficult. It's so hard to tell what is within my current, like, size limit, you know? Can't get music stands yet. I don't know if I'm supposed to go to one shop then the other and like do backtracking and cycle around and everything to get as much stuff as I need because I'm I'm only halfway there. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. It's also extra hard to chop things on the floor. That was a clean slash though. That guy was cleft straight in two. Good, mighty fine clefting you got going on there, Chief. I'm I'm liking I'm liking it. How are you how are you keeping your ha hairdo safe through all this? God damn you, you stupid floor box. I don't know how he's not chopping his own hair though. Slicing every individual little hair seems like it would be a mighty effective way to grow things up awful quickly though, wouldn't you think? Shit, I gotta I gotta backtrack to some of these shops and stuff because I'm 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 big enough now that I can hopefully hopefully work back through some of what I missed previously. Ah, I got so little time to get the last little wave of stuff here. And there's not actually that many things in the shop. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think there's enough time. Oh, 20 seconds to chop 20 more things. I'm just wasting time moving from one to the other. I don't even think there's 20 things in this shop. I'm not gonna do it. Hopefully, hopefully Papa will still be proud of me. I'm sorry I let you down. I did the best I could. This was all for you, Papa. Ah, <laughs> oh, I have to retry. Oh, come on. That was kind of... That was kind of very slow moving. All right, well, I, I'm not gonna waste all that time cutting things that I, I am not big enough for like I did last time. I wasted a lot of time on that. Size very much matters in this game. When a giant meteor is coming crashing for Earth and all you have is a magical growing sword and a father who turned himself into a frog and you're the only hope of defending the entire city, don't let anyone tell you that size doesn't matter. It's very important in this very particular circumstance. Now that I kind of have a plan of attack though, I know what things I can and can't chop. I'm moving between the shops very speedily and kind of making insane progress. Chop, 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 chop. I have to hope there's at least one person watching this video who watches Auntie Donna or else that isn't so much of a reference as it is just a random string of, of the word chop in a very vague rhythmic pattern. So here's, here's hoping. <laughs> oh yeah, I can get all these chairs and everything out here. Nice. I'm gonna get everything in no time. And by no time, I mean several minutes. <laughs> funny when you chop just barely the corner off of something and it still it still counts it's it's like the tiniest you shaved the tiniest hair off of it oh between all these music stands and stuff I for sure have enough enough chopping devices implements of well there's only the one implement of chopping but enough victims of my my chopping wrath wrath that I I for sure have got that under control boom 100 objects in 180 seconds I'm a real champ
Now this meteor doesn't stand a chance. I got this shit under wraps. I haven't been totally honest with you. There's another reason we're here. We needed some milk at home, so I thought we could swing by the market. While I get some, why don't you practice cutting stuff in half? I'll, I'll get as close to half as possible. Four meters is my, my aim. I gotta get four times bigger than this? God, it looks like such a tiny, dinky, little useless thing now. Now that I've been, been so much larger, going back to this tiny little size is just so inadequate. Once you go big, long mega sword, you can't go back? Oh, I'm timed again. Oh, nuts. I suppose I should get inside and find a bunch of, like, tiny fruits and things to slice. Like, really, I should be aiming for much smaller targets overall. Hmm, weird bulk barn full of just, like, uh, spices, I guess. But these, these meats, can I cut them individually? Shit. God, what could I actually cut inside the store that I'm wasting time? God, how do his arms not get tired swinging this up over his head like that the entire time? Come on, slice them. Don't just knock them around. How are you not slicing them? Try to go around back and slash all the trash. Oh, come on. I'm probably so close to being able to slice all that. I'm just barely missing that cutoff. Perfect. Oh my god, the more directly in half it is, is that, like, do I grow more effectively? Oh, swinging randomly was not a good strategy, I guess. Either that or I'm getting points throughout all this. Maybe, it, maybe it's not just about size. That's silly. What a silly statement. Of course it's only about size. Oh, thank goodness. I'm barely enough to start chopping through some of these counters and things. I should be able to get enough growth out of that to deal with a few slightly larger items. Mm. <laughs> no! Come on, I'm so boned. Oh, okay. Okay, if I slice all this up, maybe I'll be able to get a little bit better. Nice! Okay, it's so satisfying when you reach the cutoff point where you're like, Yeah, I can, I can slice whatever I damn dream of. Aw, oh, nuts. Come on, man, you're so close. There's so little time. Ah, only, only 3.5 meters. That's BS. That's great. That's a, that's a perfectly adequate size. Anyone would be happy with that. I mean, I guess it's not meteor ready. That's just, that's just being picky. Oh, nice. I, uh... Spend enough time outside that I've already got enough to start chopping through counters inside the grocery store, so I don't even need to go. Oh come on, those are somehow slightly bigger. All right, I'll get, I'll get that extra little bit I need from there. Oh nuts, really? Ah oh, shit, I hope it doesn't have to send me back outside again. Damn, I thought I had done enough outside ahead of time that I had made it in with a, a, a good size that I like wouldn't have to come back outside again at all. I kind of, the game is planned quite well, actually, that kind of forces you to to revisit areas to get what you need out of them. It's, I, I, th I think that was well handled. Ooh, you can even chop the fence. I hadn't even thought to try that before. Oh, 45 seconds to chop down essentially everything in this entire grocery store. I didn't grab a single thing of milk. I hope Dad's looking after that, because I, I certainly haven't put the work in. Chop, chop. <laughs> so methodical with his with his methods there. Can't break pace. Just gotta keep the chops coming. Start, just keep the, the chops coming. Don't stop coming. Fed to the rules. They hit the ground. Chopping didn't make sense not to chop for fun. Your brain gets chop, 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 chop. Day one. That was the end of day one. Ah, oh, that was just one day of chopping things to hell. Hmm, all right. Oh, cool. I kind of have a, a list of. Of options to choose from. I was I thought this was a game that I could sit down and play in like half an hour. 18 minutes, I've only done one day. I don't really know if I feel like doing all five days. What 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 can you see at the shop here? What have I earned enough to get anything from the shop? I I don't know. What kind of so is that where the perfects come to play and stuff? Have I been earning money? Welcome to the void! This is where I do most of my inventing. Well, I don't think I want to hang around here. It seems like most of your inventions have not worked out too well. This is Hubert, my assistant. Oh, I thought this, I thought I was talking to my dad. <laughs> he was never human, just a frog. <laughs> he sells me upgrades for my inventions. 
Where is Herbert getting these? Are you selling them to him and then he's marking them up and selling them back to you? I don't think my dad's all that smart, so I wouldn't be surprised if he fell for a scheme like that. Still won't give me a discount. Me, though? Would you give me a discount? Oh, gold, of course. I've been finding gold. I'm an idiot. Um, coin multiplier is probably actually the smartest thing to get, but I want a better swing speed and a better growth speed. My swing speed annoys the hell out of me. Oh, move speed. All these look good. I think the smartest one is to get a, a coin multiplier, though, if I really want to strategize and really go for it. Uh, they're all on timers. Let's go to the beach. A nice day at the beach. I'm not going to play this full game, but we might as well mess around a little bit more. Don't you just love the beach? This is the life. Hey, wait a second. What's with all this trash? <laughs> hey, little frog dude. This beach got messed up when everybody ran away from the meteor. I'm still here, though. Gotta hit those waves. Rain or shine. Or meteor. Why don't you help me clean this place up? Take that sword and chop up the trash. Does he even know it's a growing sword? He just thinks I'm a dude with a sword. And he's like, yeah, sure. I fucking, I, I like the beach. I like waves. You look like you like swords. I think we could get along well. <laughs> he's a very accepting, welcoming man overall. I th This extra move speed. Is that what I upgraded? I don't even think I did. I upgraded swing speed, didn't I? I feel like I'm moving faster. I think you start slowing down once your sword gets too big, though. So all of a sudden, it feels like I had a move upgrade. That's a big trash. That is that is the big trash. Oh, I'm, I'm specifically targeting trash. But I have to cut other things to get the sword large enough to cut the bigger trashes. Any opportunity I can get to, you know, get two burns stoned at once, I'll, I'll take. Uh, so if it happens to be trash and something that'll help enhance my sword, then I'm all for it. I uh, could think most of the trashes are quite small overall. It's, it makes things quite easy. Rubber ducky. I don't want to have to chop the rubber ducky, but I will if it comes down to it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out a way to do this without chopping that duck, unless unless it's literally the fiftieth piece of trash. Then I guess I have no choice. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna jack up my sword. Get it nice and firm and strong and girthy. What are you getting stuck on, you stupid bastard? Oh, I literally just can't go back into that area. Well, good thing I wasted a lot of time trying. Hmm, that tire is not going anywhere. I wonder if you can chop the tree. It doesn't seem like... It didn't even give one of these little, like, blips. So I don't think so. <laughs> Toilet. Ah, damn it, those beach chairs don't count as trash, as I, I shouldn't have expected them to, really, but it would have been helpful. I don't like them, so can we just call them trash and be done with it? How's that coin multiplier working out for me? I feel like I don't have nearly as much coinage as I would have wanted. Stupid rubber duck. Damn it, I'm gonna have to cut that duck, aren't I? I can't even find more trash. There's, there's the duck, the giant tire, and the really, really giant bag of trash. I think I have to cut all of it, and I'm out of time. I'm boned. No, it's not good enough. My best efforts were not good enough. The beach is a mess. Get out of here. I got rid of 96% of the trash. You're going to call that a mess? That's way better than most beaches. All right, let's go see what the park's all about. You know what? I probably, I did find a decent amount of money there. Nope, never mind. I didn't find that much money at all. Good thing I bought a coin multiplier, right? Ooh, I like these square trees and giant cake. Wait a minute, is that cake? I love cake. Or at least I used to before I turned into a frog. Did you know frogs are lactose intolerant? Are lactose intolerant? I sure didn't because it isn't true. <laughs> ah, hey mister, it's my birthday today, but nobody came to my party. Now I got this huge cake and I can't even cut a slice. Could you use that sword to cut up this cake so I can have some? Just shove your fist in it. Shove your face in it. If you have a cake that's that size, like building size, and you don't just get naked and full sprint launch yourself, like dive, dive through the air into your cake and then eat your way out, then like you might as well just hope that that meteor hits today because you're not living your life right. Where are your parents? I don't know if you can really give a lecture here, dude. You turned yourself into a frog. Sure, kid. I'll, uh, I'll cut up your cake. Don't worry about it. But first, I'm gonna ruin absolutely everything else about your party first. I'm gonna cut up all your presents, all your barbecues, because you know how much kids just can't resist a good barbecue pit. 
God damn it, there's nothing in this area that I can actually cut. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, finally. Ah, oh, but it only counts as one. One stupid set of tire things. Also, all, all the, the fun playground equipment, you didn't want that for your party, did you, kid? Because I I, I'm cutting that loose as well. There is so little in this area I can actually cut. I'm probably going to go up top there. Come on. Oh, benches. Okay, I can cut a couple benches at least. How do I, like, reset this attempt? Because I don't think I got what it takes. I don't know what to do. I'm boned. I can't, I can't cut fucking anything. Come on, I'm not even, I don't even have enough to get that trash can. I don't even see what in this damn playground I could actually cut. What if I just wander completely out of this area? Just, oh, a couple of hidden cones. Get me some cones. It's very little value in those overall. I still am not even enough to get the chairs. There, oh my goodness, finally I can get the chairs. But like, I'm sorry kid, your birthday is a write-off. I, there's no... There's no saving it now. No cake, no access to giant cake. You might as well give up. You might as well just hope that that uh, meteor wipes wipes us all out. Because there's no, no coming back now. I mean, I guess I go and try and cut the cake. I'm sure if I took a few good hacks at it. I mean, you can teleport straight through it. So maybe that's the issue. Oh, you can cut these little pegs? I didn't know that. Yeah, blew it. Blew out the candles. Nah, but come on, if with a few good hacks you can't get through that hate cake, then you're not even trying. Are you telling me that, like, you need a knife or sword that's the size of the entire cake? That's excessive. You don't need that. It's too much. Ah, I will not retry. I probably, I'm probably just going to set this down. I love this type of thing. I love destructible environments. I think it's a funny idea. There's silly shit going on all over in this game. Uh, probably this was like the best case scenario for a game like this to come packaged essentially free with a larger bundle like that because yeah otherwise I, it's probably only worth a couple bucks or whatever especially since I'm already whatever it is two-fifths of the way through it but I like it I dig it I think it was worth a laugh I hope you guys enjoyed it too thank you so much for watching I'll see you again soon